Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we'll cover how to set up, request and manage time off. First, you need to enable time off here in workspace settings. Once enabled, you will see time off in the sidebar. Let's set up time off policy. We'll call it vacation. Under Assignee, we'll select all so everyone can request vacation. But if you have different policies for different people, you can individually select users for whom the policy applies. For this policy, people will get and request time off in days. But if your team receives time off based on overtime, you can set select hours. When someone requests vacation, it needs to be approved first. Under who can approve, we'll select someone from HR plus the person's respective team manager. For this policy, we won't allow people to take more time than they have accrued, but you can allow it for some other policies such as sick leave so people can take more days than they have accrued. Finally, let's create the policy. Once created, you'll see the request button here and here you can manage policies and holidays. On manage policies, you can create, update and archive policies you no longer need. If we archive vacation policy, all the data will remain for viewing, but you won't be able to make new requests for it. You can have as many policies as you want. For example, you can create a separate policy for tracking sick leave, maternity leave, earned time off, unpaid time off, policy for different years, etc. You can also add holidays by clicking on manage holidays. Let's create pay time off for New Year's Day. Select everyone, pick January 1st and check occurs annually. You can have as many holidays as you want and control which one applies to which person. Before people can request time off, you need to add accrued days to their balance by clicking on add for each member or do it in bulk by clicking on the check boxes. Let's give everyone 20 days and leave a note that is accrued balance for year 2021. You can always add or remove accrued days individually by clicking here. Now that we have some available days, let's request time off. Let's select vacation and request next week off. As you can see, we have 20 days available and we have requested five days in total because the weekend doesn't count. You can change what counts as a weekend in workspace settings. Also, if there's a holiday in the selected range, it won't count. Once we submit the request, our team manager will receive an email and the request will appear in this table. You can approve the request by clicking here or reject it here. If you made a mistake, click withdraw to cancel the request. Let's approve the request. Once it's approved or rejected, you'll get an email notification. When we go to the timeline tab, all requests will appear here so you can quickly see who's away and when in the next 30 days. You can see previous or the next 30 days here or enter a custom range here. Time off also appears in each person's calendar. Finally, let's cover the balance tab. You can see what we accrued 20 days, used up five and have 15 days available. You can click history here to see a detailed log of each change to the balance, such as who made the change, when and how it affected the balance. If you wish to see all time off for a particular person, you can click here on member and select the person. To see who didn't use up their vacation, click on policy, vacation and sort by available. To learn more about Cluckify and other stuff you can do, be sure to check out our other tutorials.